Our next question is from Liz uh, on working out with a partial knee replacement. Hey guys, I'm sure you have probably answered this by now. I'm almost cut up on the podcast, but I haven't heard this question, so I figure I'd give it a go. My boyfriend had part of his knee replaced due to, an, due to an injury he sustained on his last deployment. He used to be extremely active, CrossFit, triathlons, and running, but now not so much. Basically, the doctor told him he needed to avoid any high-impact exercises. No running, no squats, clean and jerks, etc. Basically, if he was going to be lifting any weight, he needs to make sure it doesn't impact his leg. When I search online for things he can do, it's mostly old people stuff, and he's in his mid-20s. So my question is, was his doctor wrong? Greg, do you have athletes with similar issues? So you're not almost caught up, Lisa, Liz, because uh, Greg, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while <laughs> since Greg's been on. Um, Greg would be a good one to ask but, about but this. But Greg though. would yeah. be a good one. Um, would you allow someone to come into your gym to start a training program? And whenever we, whenever we start to do some sort of a training program, he gets disheartened. Uh, by the things he can't do. And I just want to give him some hope that he can do some of the things he used to love. Do you have any suggestions or resources? Man, resources. Uh, I would, what, what do you think about him reaching out to Hunter Fitness? I mean, just to, to so, address and so look at I, mobility not concerns. Uh, that, that, that could be an option depending on where you live, Liz. Um, you could look online for uh, an FRC practitioner, a functional range con conditioning practitioner. They're more and more coming online all the time. Um, also looking for a kin stretch class, somebody who is offering kin stretch. Again, some major metropolitan areas, you can find it, but it's still new and growing, but it is one of the most amazing um just mobility programs. And, and I know he's, you know, it sounds like you're, uh, my, my thought with the mobility is just to make sure that things are tracking properly, that we're avoiding right. as much. Well, like and just strength, imbalance, strengthening the tissue. The end the, range. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. The, all of I think that would be a great first, first yeah. start. Um, follow, you could certainly follow, uh, Hunter cook on Instagram. It's, I think it's his Instagram handle is Hunter fitness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, to see kind of some of the stuff that he, he does. He's one of the FRC certified coaches. Um, so, so that's my, a start. That's a start. And then my other thought, it, it's tough not knowing. So you mentioned a partial knee replacement. There's a lot of different ways that that can play out, whether we're talking north of the tibia or south of the, or, or the patella, um, you know, what all went into that can really change the way that, things play out, you know, as to whether or not his doctor was wrong, the, the doctors always take a pretty conservative stance on this because if they don't, then they end up in trouble. And so you, you do need to read between the lines of that a little bit. There may be things like sled pulling, sled dragging, um, which are much more amenable to loading his lower body and, and not causing problems because it's part of maybe a little bit more natural gait process of of just just walking pushing a wheelbarrow a loaded yeah loading wheelbarrow. a wheel, loaded wheelbarrow carrying it i mean it's not going to be squats it's not necessarily deadlifts like deadlifting i i find hard to imagine like a straight leg deadlift where you lift it out of a bar mm -hmm. you know that it's a low rack you lift it out mm -hmm. and you do some sort of straight leg deadlift uh, and even a high clean pull or a high mm -hmm. snatch pull I really find that so long as technique is great. Right, so right, right. I'm, I'm assuming this is not like the, uh, what just throw it on up there. You know, the old <laughs> CrossFit, like, like, um, uh, the videos, you go throw that thing on up there. Like not that, like well, not is dog that shit video. Technique. We need to find that God, video and find link it technique. in this, in the show notes. Yeah. Just throw it on up there. Um, like use those paper towels. He was like using paper towels right, right, to like yeah. do his grip. That yeah. was funny. Um, so not that, but like, it's really hard for me to imagine that you wouldn't be able to Romanian deadlift, straight leg deadlift, um, high pull, you know, both cleans and snatches, Ring snatches work. are, yeah. I mean, it, it, legs, well, but... Yeah. I mean, I'm just focusing on, mm -hmm. on legs and yeah, you could get real geeked out on, on things like ring work and rope climbs and, and mm -hmm. some of the, uh, hand balancing and stuff like that. But we do just for, you know, good aging, we want to maintain as much, uh, strength and mobility in our lower body as we can. So I would think about sleds, wheelbarrows, and then a little bit of posterior dominant type things like straight leg deadlifts. Um, and again, you can load it from the top. 
And so you're not even getting into a super flexed knee position. And again, without knowing what the limitations are, it's kind of hard to know, but I, I'm hard pressed to imagine that that wouldn't be okay. Um, loaded hip bridges, even mm -hmm. uh, unilateral, I'm, I think would be okay. Um, I, I, but, but, you know, this is some stuff that you would have to tinker with and a really good coach would be able to walk through this stuff with you. And, and how does that feel? It feels great. Uh, I, I have end range, you know, closing pain. Okay. Well, we're not going to do that or we're going to figure out how to modify it for mm -hmm. sure. But there should be things that can be done. And again, this isn't like a, a binary was the doctor right or wrong? It, it, the doctor was being conservative, which is kind of what, what they're supposed to do. But that doesn't a hundred percent mean that that's the end of the story. You know, we're going to have to play and map and figure some stuff out. And like, after I had my back injury from doing CrossFit years ago, I just couldn't really do CrossFit after that. Mm -hmm. Like it, it just wasn't something that was amenable to me, but I've kept tinkering with things and, uh, I'm able to modestly deadlift. And for the first time in ages, I was able to back squat the other day. And, uh, uh, so yeah, you just have to keep tinkering with it.